I'm so confident on this because I've been on this journey for such a long time and the times in which I have seen the most growth, the most length of attention is Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Amen. Hello guys, my name is Janet Davies and I'm your hair growth guide. In this video, we're gonna be talking about three reasons why your hair is just not growing. Please ignore this. I just got water myself, but I don't actually have the time for this to wait. Sorry, no. So we're just we're just gonna ignore it, hide it, hide it behind the beautiful mane, and get right into the video. So let's get straight into it. Three reasons why your hair is just not growing. And the reason why I say growing in kind of like hyphen marks is because honestly guys your hair is always growing your hair is always growing it's just breaking off faster than it can grow so let's get that out there first and foremost but the first reason why your hair is not growing or just breaking off faster than you can retain any length is because you don't know or understand your hair porosity so if you don't know already porosity is honestly one of the most important factors when it comes to growing out super long and healthy hair porosity i would describe as sort of like the personality of your hair it kind of determines how oh sorry how well your hair will absorb kind of like moisture or product or how it can react in certain environments and i do have a more much more detailed video all about hair porosity that i filmed just for this one so i will definitely definitely link it in the cards and in the description bar as well so definitely if you want to understand in more in detail definitely look in the description bar but some quick fire reasons why porosity is so important in your hair growth journey is because you could actually be doing a lot more harm than good if you don't understand your hair porosity for example if you are low porosity you want to be doing techniques such as deep conditioning overnight if you want or using a steam cap or applying your leave-in conditioner straight out of the shower or while you're still in the, sh in the shower if you're high porosity you want to make sure you're doing your protein treatment you don't want to miss your protein treatment you just don't want to do it you also want to be looking for ingredients that are positively charged that can actually attract to the negative parts of your hair but as I said this is probably you know a bit of information that may you may not understand so I'm definitely going to link, link that video that I made all about porosity, how to find out your porosity, the kind of best techniques you need to use depending on obviously the type of porosity hair you have and honestly guys that video is jam-packed with information but honestly the number one reason I believe your hair is not growing is because you don't understand your porosity and therefore you're not doing the right techniques to kind of support your hair where it's at and to make it thrive and flourish. So the second reason your hair is just not growing, and I know a lot of people may fight me on this. I literally sometimes have daily battles with people on why I believe this point is really important. It's because you actually allow your hair to shrink in its natural curl pattern or state. I know that's quite a swear word in this whole natural hair community. I am definitely not a natural hair Nazi. I'm just a realist. And if I'm being honest, Afro hair is beautiful. It's great. Like I've been natural since before it was cool. I've been called every name under the sun. Like when it comes to being natural, I mean, girl, I'm team Afro. I'm team all that good stuff. However, can we just be real with ourselves? Allowing your hair to kind of shrink and dry in its natural state can cause so much more harm than good and i'm just going to be honest with you guys i'm really going to be honest allowing your hair to kind of shrink up and have all that shrinkage can cause so many more tangles single stranded knots and that ultimately leads to more chances of breakage so this is why i kind of i'm an advocate for stretch hairstyles and stretch hairstyles are anything that prevents your hair from shrinking up into its natural state so that could be literally Really leaving your hair to dry in braids or twists or doing a blowout and then braiding it up 
anything that stretches the natural curl pattern that prevents it from kind of becoming a knotted mess I, well not a mess but just becoming incredibly knotted is going to save you honestly the times in which in my natural hair journey that i have seen the most amount of length retention is when i've had stretch hairstyles so therefore if your goal is length retention if your goal is not length retention then just ignore this whole video but if your goal is length retention like a lot of people you know have then definitely not allowing your hair to shrink up in its natural state will save you so much more breakage so much more tangles okay because shrinkage equals tangles which equals breakage so for me shrinkage is a no-no you will never find me kind of wash my hair and just let it dry in its natural state like I'm, i you never will catch me in a wash and go or in like a high puff or anything like that because i just know when it comes to detangling that it's gonna be hard it's gonna be really hard but of course there's nothing wrong with doing these hairstyles every like now and again but if you are trying to grow your hair as quickly as possible i would personally say avoid these hairstyles avoid wash and goes and i'm talking more in particular for my type four and below girls if you're a type four c especially i would definitely recommend to not do wash and goes and all these hairstyles that are kind of trendy but opt for things like braid outs or twist outs or just allowing your hair to dry in whilst it's in a braid or whilst it's in a twist will honestly help you in retaining a lot more length but it doesn't just stop there if you want to take kind of stretch hairstyles that bit more further then i would honestly say protective styling is your best friend protective styling honestly provides the best environment for optimal growth because your hair is kind of left alone it's not being manipulated and it's honestly in a great area where all you really need to do is apply a little bit of hair growth oil to your scalp and bob drunk or like literally protective styling like you know braids or wigs or weaves of course like not gluing you know that lace whatever whatever i've literally worn a lace front once in my life and i said <laughs> never ever again in fact when i wore it people laughed at me they're like janet why <laughs> why so but anyhow obviously some people like that stuff but obviously i wouldn't recommend if you're gonna have that hairstyle to do it like every single day because that hairline is not it's just not it like we, we shouldn't be doing that to ourselves it's okay for special occasions but in my personal humble opinion i don't think gluing a lace wig or frontal to your hairline on a daily basis is the best thing not only for your scalp your hairline your skin all that kind of stuff like the glue everything it's it's just it's not right let's just be honest with ourselves here and if you are going to do braids for protective style then i would definitely recommend that you do kind of like chunky braids where they take larger sections of your hair and don't put too much added hair to that section so that it doesn't become really heavy and it's like pulling at your scalp and causing like alopecia but for the most part braids are your friends so long as obviously you're not taking hair like literally the smallest amounts of hair and like tugging them too close or like just too much on your hairline you want to be making sure you're going to a braidist or a stylist that actually has your natural hair in mind and won't rip the hair from your scalp but yeah definitely stretch hairstyles protective hairstyles is such a great way to grow your hair and retain so much freaking length and guys you, i'm so confident on this because I've been on this journey for such a long time and the times in which I have seen the most growth, the most length retention is when I'm following stretched hairstyles. So the third reason why your hair is just not growing is because you detangle like you're fighting with your ancestors. <laughs> okay, all jokes aside, the third reason why your hair may not be growing is because you're detangling not in the best way you're detangling in a way that causes breakage and therefore you never see the length you want to see because you're literally breaking it off with your hands or with your comb or whatever styling tool you're using it's just not working so just put the comb down put the comb down put the comb down okay as i've said before i've been on this freaking natural hair journey for as long as i can remember now and honest to god throughout you know the years when i've washed my hair and all that kind of stuff I have, I, I genuinely believe I have the best detangling routine that anyone could ever use and they will see results 
instantly. That is how confident I am in the detangler routine I'm about to drop right here for free, free of charge, boom. So I'm gonna list everything here, but you wanna detangle, okay, only when wet. And I know a lot of people say, oh, you should, dry, you should detangle your hair when dry. But even if your hair is wet and it may be in a more fragile state, I'm kidding you not. Detangling when your hair is dry is a recipe for disaster for afro type hair. It may be the case for Caucasian hair, straight hair, but when it comes to afro hair, detangling your hair in this kind of dry state actually causes so much more damage. You wanna detangle when your hair is completely wet or at least damp, and you wanna be using a super slippery conditioner that will make your hair feel like silk and you can detangle in such an easy way. Of course, I have to shout out, Amino Naturals, the Tangle Slayer, like it's literally in the name and the reviews speak for themselves. The Tangle Slayer is life changing. If you have breakage through bad detangling or you just feel like you can't get, you can never get enough slip, the Tangle Slayer is your friend. So you want to detangle when your hair is wet, you want to apply your super slippery conditioner in sections into your hair and you want to use your fingers first, okay? Because in my humble opinion, I do genuinely believe for the best way to retain length in my 10 years plus of being natural, you want to use your fingers. It may seem long, it may seem a bit extra, but honestly guys, if you retire your combs for just one month, you will see length retention. You wanna use your fingers first and comb second. But if you're trying to just like kind of get into finger detailing, I would even suggest getting rid of the comb for good until you're at a point where you feel like you can get those fingers working and separating the knots and all that good stuff as well as you can. So wet conditioner, fingers first. Fingers, fingers, fingers. Like. I can't stress this point enough. If you forget everything in this video, just remember to use your fingers to detangle. And you wanna be as gentle as possible. You kind of wanna start, you know, trying to separate the big knots, and then you get to the little ones, and then you wanna cut out any, you know, single shining knots that are beyond repair, but yeah. Wet conditioner and fingers. You also wanna work in sections. If you're someone who gets kind of overwhelmed, and I know I've been there a lot of times when I've got to the shower, I've become so overwhelmed because there's so much hair or it feels like I'm literally having to climb Mount Everest in this whole concept of detangling my hair. That's literally what it feels like. You wanna kind of reduce that overwhelm and just work in sections. It will help you kind of logically like break down, like, okay, all I need to do is get through this section, get through this section, this and this. However, if you just go all in at once, it may seem like you're, you're just detangling the same section over and over again without realizing that you need to move over. And honestly guys, it just will help you frame your whole mind and how to detangle well if you're working in sections. So make sure your hair is wet, use a great conditioner, fingers first and section. And whilst you're working in those sections, you kind of want to re-wet those individual sections because that what that will do is kind of reactivate the conditioner um, and help you get much more slip without having to apply more conditioner, kind of like waste products. I definitely recommend that you re-wet sections as you're finger detangling each individual section. Re-wet it a little bit, obviously not soaking wet, just kind of get the, the conditioner just kind of working again, you know? You know what I mean? You also want to cut out any single stranded knots that are beyond repair. So what can happen in the shower is that you're kind of working through your hair and then, oh, 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 you've kind of got to a knot that you can't, you've literally, like, you've been there for five minutes. It's not, it's not working. So to prevent yourself from wasting too much time and kind of like, like, you know, breaking that knot and then causing a split end at that hair and then maybe even making the hair split all the way to the scalp and then rendering it useless, what you want to do is what will save you time is honestly just slipping out any knots that are beyond repair, slip them out because what you will find is that you're actually going to retain so much more length by cutting out, I'm talking this much of hair, like such a small amount versus breaking the entire hair strand and then it being rendered useless or it breaking naturally on its own and then all that nasty stuff. So I definitely recommend to cut out any single stranded knot. And the next point is to use your combs second. As I said before, 
fingers are your best friend when it comes to natural hair when it comes to length retention you want to use your comb second and for me personally the only reason i actually use a comb is to remove all the shed hair because as you know already i don't really wash my hair um, every single day I wash it maybe every two to three weeks sometimes even a month if I'm being a little bit lazy let's just be honest but for the most part if your hair sheds about 100 strands a day if you don't wash your hair for like two to three weeks that can be like 2,000 over 2,000 strands of hair that is going to naturally fall out of your head and what may seem or what may happen in the shower is as you're detangling you'll just see loads of hair coming out but you need to realize that if you haven't combed your hair for two weeks bloody hell there's going to be a lot of strands that are going to come out but that's not breakage okay so the purpose of the comb is just to remove that shed hair so once you've detangled with your fingers you can then use your comb okay gently start from the end gently go up go up go up go up and remove that shed hair so still on this detangling point and i'm giving this detangling point so much time because for me it's probably one of the most important reasons why your hair may not be growing and that is to the last point i would say is to not over detangle and this is a point where i don't really see people talk about a lot when it comes to natural hair but honestly guys like our hair is like that pair of headphones that when we used to have wide headphones anyway that would constantly get tangled in your like pocket without you even doing anything it would just tangle that is literally what our hair is like afro hair has so many curls and kinks and spirals which is absolutely beautiful and it's amazing so we need to understand that also when it comes to detangling you don't want to get to a point where you you feel like you need to like get a comb to run through your hair every single time without felt like it's just not going to happen and you're going to create a lot more manipulation and breakage and you won't see that growth that you so desperately want so it's quite frankly impossible for you to remove every single knot in, in its entirety at every single point in time it's just not going to happen what you want to do is get your hair to a point where you've kind of removed all the, the large knots you know you finger the tangle you've used your comb and you've been able to run that comb through successfully like two or three times and then you just leave it there you don't need to make it run like uh, it doesn't need to happen because our hair is just not called for that our hair is not straight and it will never be a situation where you comb your hair constantly all the time and it's there's going to be no snagging and that's fine like our hair is beautiful and it has its own quirks and kinks and that's just one of them so yes i've been janet and you guys have been amazing thank you so much for watching until the end if you do have any more you know tips or tricks definitely comment down below i want to hear them i'm still learning i don't feel like i've i know everything under the sun i'm still on this journey and i want to make this you know comment section like a really good platform almost like a blog where people can just come and like you know give ideas and like encourage others and yeah all that good stuff but thank you so much guys for watching and i'll catch you on the next one 